Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. As you can see, our first little solar array is almost done building. We're still missing a few solar panels. Um, I did add speed modules to the solar panel and to the accumulator machine so that they can go a bit quicker. Um, but it's still, you know, it's going to be a little bit slow as these get built up. But we can see now that we're starting to get some of our power from solar and we can see that the accumulators that we've got so far are fully charged. I'm going to add, I'm going to add one more of these. And the way that you set these up is uh, with Mazuri's design is uh, you tile them like this so that the three accumulators on the side overlap with the other one. Right, so I'm going to put a second one down and let the bots get started with that one as well. Right, and um, you know that's kind of how uh, building up with solar will generally go. You just plop a few down whenever you see that you need more power, and uh, and wait for your bots to deal with it. Okay, so these are these are some of the turrets that I left behind when I destroyed some bases earlier. They're getting destroyed now. They're probably out of ammo. Anyway, I think they only had the uh, the level one ammo. All right, so um, we we talked about building a defensive wall in the last episode, but I think before I do that, I think I want to upgrade to advanced oil processing over here. So let's do that first. And then we'll start working on a wall. And we're going to build a wall that even Donald Trump would be proud of. Um, okay. Yeah, and I have not hooked up the water yet. So we'll have to do that. Can't mix fluids. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's actually oil in these pipes now. So I guess we can't, uh, I guess we can't pre-build that stuff anymore like we used to be able to do before. Okay, so I've removed all those pipes. All right, yeah, now we can change it. So that fluid, anti-fluid mixing feature seems to uh, prevent us from pre-building that. That's okay, it's not a big issue. Okay, and then I'll just control C this part and let the bots do it. Um, <clears throat> I added another RoboPort, so I had to remove four of the solar panels to fit that in. And, um, you know, so far my battery is staying charged, so as long as that continues to be the case, uh, I'll leave it there. Because I'd rather have the, I'd rather have the extra, um, I'd rather have the extra construction bots at this point in time. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're still doing good on ammo up there. Alright, so I need to bring some water in. Um, which should come from down here, I suppose. That's where all the water seems to be. So let's make an offshore pump. And I'll... Oh, yeah, I do have water. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is going up to the acid, I think. So I'll just uh, I'll just tap into this water line here. Yeah, great. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. All right. So with the advanced oil recipe, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to get less heavy oil. We're going to get more petroleum. And we're going to get more light oil. Um, and light oil is the thing that we really want to get rid of at this point. Right? So, um, so that's what we'll set up next. We'll set up something to process the light oil. All right. So we are making 45 every five seconds. Okay. So 40, let's see, 45 divided by five. So that's nine per second. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm making 81 light oil per second. So we've got to build something up that will be able to deal with that. Um, where do I want to put this? I didn't really leave myself much room for this. I think we'll have to build the cracking over here. Okay, so let's put down a chemical plant here. All right, so here we're going to crack light oil to petroleum. And that will use 30 every two seconds or 15 per second. So for 81, I need six of these. If I'm going to use up all the light oil that I produce. Okay, so let's, um, let's print it out like this. And then I'll copy that. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Is my math right on that? 30, 15 per second, 15 times six. And I'm making nine times nine. Okay, yeah, I think that should be enough. Okay, there's our light oil. <coughs> Excuse me. And Whoa. Yeah, these guys um seems like they were reaching over the wall. They almost destroyed that laser turret. I should go up and fix that. Let's do that quickly. Uh where's my car? Here we go. Do I have anything to fuel this thing? <laughs> no, I don't. All right, let's get some coal. Yay, 200,000 iron plates an hour. I love seeing those achievements pop up. Okay, so let's try let's try setting these back two tiles and see if that makes a difference. destroy anything that time so that was some successful driving um, I think I'll just bring this water over because um, I think I think one pump is generally enough to take care of all of the um, oil processing needs 
Okay, so now we just need to power this up. We'll throw in some lights. Not that many. Okay. All right, and now we'll start to use up some of that light oil. And then we just need to get the petroleum out. And I want to send that back into our tanks. Hmm. No, I can't go there because there's another underground pipe there. Um, let's feed it up here. Okay, wonderful. Um, and actually, let's um, let's put a pump there. Because the other thing is, I want to be able to continue to make solid fuel from light oil to feed our power supply. So I think I only want to I only want to crack the light oil into petroleum when I have an excess of light oil. All right, so let's hook these tanks together, and then I'll hook those both to this pump so that we can read our light oil contents in those tanks. So let's enable this pump to be cracking when light oil is greater than. I don't know, let's say 5,000. Okay. <clears throat> so that way, if the light oil level starts to get low, uh, this pump will turn off and the rest of uh, the light oil that we do have can continue to be used to make solid fuel. Okay. And we're still making lubricant slowly. Okay, I'm going to disconnect this for a moment because I want these pipes to empty out. Um, I'm going to convert these to make um, to make solid fuel from heavy oil. I don't know if I can. We can disconnect that. Let's see if I can change the recipe. No. I guess we have to start picking up the pipes every time. That's kind of a pain. Okay. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to be... I'm going to be cracking heavy oil as well when we have an excess. Okay, so let's take a look at the recipe for cracking heavy oil to light. Um, that uses 40, that uses 20 per second. Okay, so let's see how much heavy oil we're making. We got 10, that's two per second times nine. So we're gonna make, we're making 18 heavy oil per second. Eighteen heavy per second, and this uses twenty per second. Okay, so we only need one machine to crack heavy oil into light, um, and we can put that. Well, I suppose we could put it over here. Let me leave myself a little more room. All right, so this will crack heavy into light. Uh, we need water for that as well. Okay, and then we 
need to get heavy over there. And I'm going to do a similar setup. We only want to we only want to draw the heavy oil when it gets when we have an excess of it. Which we don't have right now. All right, so we'll enable this for heavy oil greater than well, let's just use 5000 again. Okay, so that way we'll continue to make lubricant when it's needed. Okay, and we'll bring that over here. Oh, no, I don't want to intrude on this space. That's for my that's for my beacons. Let's see if I can do it right here. And it's a good thing that it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't let you mix fluids anymore, so I don't have to worry so much about doing it by accident. Okay. Um, did I set the logic on that pump properly? Okay. Yeah, it's it's turned off. I guess there was already a little bit of oil in the pipe. Okay, and then what we'll do here is we'll just feed it up there like that. Okay, so whatever light oil it makes will get fed into these cracking machines. All right, so now this should be a completely self-sustaining setup. Um, you know, it won't... The only reason it'll stop is if our petroleum tanks fill up. Um, but uh, with this setup, it won't it won't allow the oil tanks to get full, so it'll never stop for that reason. But it will stop when petroleum fills up. So we just need to make sure we're using our petroleum, um, and we could also make solid fuel from petroleum when the tanks are full. That is a possibility. Um, just to keep everything running and keep the solid fuel producing. Because if the petroleum gets full, solid fuel will stop. And that could affect our power. Although we are starting to switch over to solar now. So perhaps that's not terribly important. All right. Let's do some more research. I've neglected that. Uh, we can do tanks now. Let's do tanks. That'll be good for destroying biter bases. Very good, actually. Okay, so we're starting to consume the light oil. And that'll put us in a good position. Okay, so now that that's done, um, let's start thinking about our wall. And where we want to put it. Now, as far as the starter base is concerned, um, you know, this this ore patch is definitely needed. So I think that should be part of our initial wall. Um, but we need to leave plenty of space for train stations. Um, we're gonna need more copper soon, but for that, I think we'll have to use trains. And we're going to need more stone. So I think it would be a good idea if the wall at least captured this stone. We could wall in between these water features. That'll help reduce the amount of wall and turrets that we need. And then on this side, you know, we need to, we need to leave room for more solar. I mean, the solar is going to like build out here and then we can start to build south as well. <clears throat> so maybe we go like across here over to the edge of this lake 
I'll go north up to here and then south down to there. That seems like that seems like a good perimeter for the starter base. And then as we expand, we'll have to adjust our walls. Okay, we got tanks, um, nuclear power we will research at some point, but I don't feel that we need it just yet. Uh, explosive rockets. Defense. Weapon shooting speed. Yeah, let's do weapon shooting speed. Oops. Okay, so let's design what the wall should look like. I guess we can do that right here. All right, so this is gonna be kind of basic. I think um, I think having a double layer on the wall would be nice. Uh, we'll want to power it with laser turrets. Let's leave a gap of at least two. And I'm thinking that we could power it with medium poles. Actually, let's do this. So it could be something like that. It's pretty simple. Should be fairly effective. Um, we'll want to cover it with. We'll want to cover it with roboports too. So let's make it big enough that we can figure out where the roboports will need to be placed. And that way, the bots will be able to get to it and repair it when repairs are needed. Um, don't I have any roboports? I guess I don't. Okay, let's request some of those. I think I want to have some at all times. <clears throat> well, until then, I've got my blueprint here. but I want this to tile nicely. So let's do that. That's a little bit closer than it needs to be. But this way I can make a blueprint like that and just continue to paste it, right? All right, so actually let's, let's create a blueprint of it and not just copy paste. Okay, and that'll be our starter wall. And once we get once we get the first couple sections going and we link the robot network, then I can just I can just blueprint the whole thing and just wait for the bots to build it. <clears throat> and then once the entire perimeter is done, I can go around and start removing all the gun turrets that I have on the interior of the wall because those won't be needed anymore. Okay, so what's the closest point? Let's start up there. Oops. Okay, yeah, and our petroleum is full now, so that's why all of our refineries have stopped. I suppose this will be a good time to use the car again. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the space of two is not enough. There, I must be getting spitters now. 
I think that's what's going on. Um, where'd my blueprint go? What the heck? Okay. Well, fortunately, I can get it from my history. Um, I guess we should actually make it to the north of here, right? Okay, so we'll paste down a couple sections here. I think once that power pole goes in, it should connect here. The laser turret graphics are really cool now. I like that. Okay, and then we just need to link up our RoboPort network. Okay, so I think if I go south. Oh, I'm standing in goo. of it should power itself. All right, where are my bots at? Did he bring me RoboPorts? There's my RoboPorts. Thank you very much. puts this one in range, but I'll come up here and help it along. And then let's get this one in range. And get this powered up. All right, so now the bot network we'll be able to start building this out. What's this guy? Yeah, it's a spitter. So we do have spitters now. Oh, you know what? I should have... Um I should have included flame turrets in this design. Let's do that. Uh, I am building those, so let me request some. Uh, where are they? Here we go. All right, I don't need 50, maybe 10 would be good. Okay, more upgrades. I'll just start at the bottom and keep going. Let's go get some flame turrets and we'll add those to the wall. Um, the flame turrets are very powerful and having those will, you'll end up killing a lot of the biters before they even get in range of the turrets. So that helps reduce the amount of energy that you use powering the turrets. 
Um, it reduces the amount of damage that you get along your wall. And um, it's overall just a great thing to have. Um, <clears throat> and you can feed it. You can feed the flame turrets um, any fluid that you want. Uh, you get more damage if you use more refined fluids, you know, like oil, petroleum, for example. Um, but in my case, I'm happy just to feed it crude oil. I think that's, I think that's plenty. Okay. So we can set these. I guess I'd like the maximum spread to be just in front of the wall like this. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to tile nicely as well. Or like, what if I put it... What if I put them right next to the RoboPort? Like this. Is that going to give me enough coverage? Um, it's hard to see. Okay. Yeah, I think those overlap a little bit. Kind of like right here. Uh-oh. Oh, crud. We're getting overrun down there. Um, where's my car? <laughs> Damn it. I left it someplace. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I hate driving these cars. Or actually, I hate crashing the cars. I don't mind driving them. Okay. Thank you, bots. Let's put a turret here to help us out in the meantime. All right. Let's go finish that flame turret thing. Um... Yeah, so let's do like one at every RoboPort and then another one right in the middle. Uh, how many tiles is this? All right, so from edge to edge. We've got 46 tiles. So after 23, we should put another one right there. That's 23, and that's 24. Okay, well I guess it can't be, I guess it can't be perfectly symmetrical then. That's okay, we can live with it. blueprint is not going to be quite as nice looking as it was before. Um, but actually, at least now, maybe I can make a blueprint. Okay, so now we'll actually, let's get another pipe on there. Okay. So we're going to want this blueprint to go from there. From there to there. Well, let's include the, the next RoboPort as well. So it makes it easier to align it. All right, and then that should be tileable. Yep. Great. Let me pick up this car. Why is it 
I guess I'm not, um, I guess I'm not saving the blueprint. Let's try this again. Create blueprint. There we go. I think that should work now. Okay, so let's paste this down. We'll do another one there. Well, maybe not yet. Um, now we need to feed it some oil. Which we conveniently have over here. Yeah, I am going to want to continue it on. And it still didn't save my blueprint. Blueprints going. Okay, I'm a little confused about this. I guess I'll have to try to figure this out. I'm not exactly sure what's happening to the blueprints and where they go when you save them. this to feed oil to the turrets. Okay, so now this one's got oil. Uh, actually, I think all of them do now. Right, so these should uh, these should get to work now. Yeah, so you can see down there where it says, it says fluid damage modifier a hundred percent. So you get you get normal damage with crude oil. Uh, if we were giving it heavy oil or light oil, we would be getting. A damage bonus. I think it's 10% and 20%, something like that. Um, what I found in the games where I've used these before is that even just with crude oil, it does a ton of damage. And it doesn't use a lot of it. Um, fluid consumption is three per second. Right, so that's not, um, that's not terrible. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so the plan was to go all the way over here and then go south to that lake. So let's continue to pace these all the way over to where that... to where that other turret is so that we can capture that that stone um, patch. Okay, now let's watch when these biters come so we can see the turrets and the, the flames working. Nice. See, that's quite effective. Now, some stuff might get destroyed um, while this is being built. Yeah, so you can see with the with the flame turrets, they, they have a hard time getting close enough to the wall to do any damage to the laser turrets. Ah, my battery's dead. I think that's because my bots are so busy with these walls.
Let's help get rid of these. Okay, utility science pack. All right, have I come over far enough? I would say that I probably have. So we can turn a corner now. Let's see. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna need to design a corner piece. <coughs> So let's see if we can do that. All right, good. And I still have some wall left. One, two. And I should be putting radar out here as well. So now if I rotate this like that, well, I don't necessarily want to go as far as possible. Um, I guess that looks good. Okay, and then the plumbing will have to change a bit. There. So that'll work. Okay, utility science pack. Now we can make Mark II batteries which will be a good thing to have. Okay, so I'm gonna go back this way so I can get power up here. All right, now our radar is working. Um, we should probably put some lasers up here by the oil, but it looks like we've gotten, we've only had very few attacks at our oil patch. Okay, yeah, and all the flame turrets have oil. So, all right, um, so in between episodes, I think I will just continue building this wall until it's complete. It'll take a little bit of time and um, now that you've seen how I do it, it's probably not necessary to watch the entire process. It's just gonna be more of the same thing. Um, and then I'll have to check and see how I can save blueprints like I used to in the old days. Um, maybe I need to, yeah, okay. I guess I need to explicitly place it in my inventory. So let's try that again. If I do that. Ah, create blueprint. Okay, save. And then put it in my inventory. There we go. I don't think I need this one anymore. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.